One of the biggest fears we see in the industry is the fear of change. It's a really complex picture. And it just seems so light years ahead that we're worried that we can never get there. What is the challenge that we're, we're seeking to overcome and solve? And that's putting a huge pressure on the auto industry. What's happening to revenues? Uh, what's happening to profitability? So many unknowns that the fear means we don't change anything. I think the, um, if you look at the future of retailing, what, what, does, what does tomorrow bring almost? Um, you can see that uh, over the last year and certainly this year, I think it's going to be a big year in terms of more and more services becoming available online and more and more of the journey about obtaining a new car being available online. But I think just to uh, concentrate um, on online um, it does a... Um, opens an issue for the traditional retailer because there's still plenty of people out there that will want to buy a car in, in a traditional fashion. So I think to address what does it look like going forward, you need to, you need to look at two things. Um, first of all is, what does your online presence look like? Can There's plenty of people out there that, that we believe would like to either complete the entire transaction online, complete some of the transaction online, or at least um, get an awful long way to, uh, to knowing uh, what they want to transact to. But then also look at the showroom experience as well. You know, the high streets and the village centres adapting to the challenges of out-of-town retail and the challenges of supermarkets. They made the experience really good. You know, they, they looked at encouraging um, a real experience-driven environment and making customers want to uh, enjoy buying things. And I think one of the things we have to accept as a car retailing industry is we haven't always done that. The experience of buying a car, the perception of buying a car from a consumer's perspective hasn't always been where it needs to be. I think the fear comes from the merging of different sectors. You know, we look at all these other sectors like retail, other service industries and see where they're going. And that's putting a huge pressure on the auto industry because they, are, they always seem so far ahead. So one of the biggest changes, uh, the disruptors in the, the automotive industry regarding technology, I feel, is Elon Musk and the company Tesla. Um, the way that they've um, taken a market that looked like it was all set out. Um, it was clear cut who was who and where places were. And they've said, no, it doesn't have to be like that. If you look at the wider retail sector, the, there's definitely influences, lessons that can be learned, um, things that can be picked up. So I think retail has changed so much over the last 20 years. Um, and it will continue to change. And I think automotive's got things to learn from retail. Uh, I think retail's got things to learn from automotive as well, because um, in many ways we, we do things very well. So I don't think you can take um, automotive retailing in isolation. You've got to look at the wider picture and see the influences of, of the way people buy things in general uh, and what that means for automotive. So Codegreer is a software company that has been around for 14, 15 years, um, and we are really excited and focused about delivering software for the motor industry. Started off with just finance and how can we add value to um, the finance sector within the automotive industry, but then looked at how can we look at intelligently connecting people to their next car. How, how, do, we, how do we add tools that get a customer that is trying to find a car into that car as quick as possible? I, I think our big focus is the product. Um, we're not big on the, the the, I'd say the sell, the hard sell definitely. We're all about getting the product out there, get it used and that that should sell itself. Um, it comes back to a commercial way we work as well, about focusing on getting good products out there, then the money will follow as long as you do the job first and it's all about getting the right products out there for the clients. If you, if you want to um, open up with a question, how can I, how can we even better uh, together um, get to where we need to get to?